We're lost. No kidding. This is Will Robinson of the 24th Colonist Group. I'm the first human to discover evidence of an alien intelligence. since a nuclear apocalypse killed everyone on Earth. Fortunately, there were survivors. We're told the Earth needs another hundred years to become survivable again. Prisoner 319, hold out your right arm. No, it's not my time. I don't turn 18 for another month. No! Hey! Stop! You're being sent to the ground. All 100 of you. Prisoners of the Ark are sending you because your crimes have made you expendable. Stay put if you want to live. We have no idea what is waiting for you down there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> the planet's simmering in radiation. You know they've landed, but communication's down. These wristbands are all we've got. Take them off and the Ark will think we're dying. That's the point. Here, we do whatever the hell we want. I am done following orders. Damn, I love Earth. Get out of the water now! <laughs> think this is a game? We won't survive here on our own. See you on the other side. In October 1989, 43 women around the world gave birth. None of these women had been pregnant when the day first began. How much do you want for it? I have adopted six children. Gifted with abilities far beyond the ordinary. I give you the Umbrella Academy. Does anyone wish to speak? He was a monster. Everything about our family is insane. It always has been. Is that my skirt? Oh, yeah, this. It's very breathy on the bits. Nice to see nothing's changed. I jumped forward and got stuck in the future. Do you know what I found? Absolutely nothing. When's it supposed to happen? In eight days. Oh, shit. Ground. 
There is someone out there who's trying to stop me from preventing the apocalypse. We need the full force of the Academy. Bingo. Yay, sisters. Yay, sisters. Get up, we're going. Where? Save the world. Oh, is that all? I was born on Earth. I was the richest man on several planets by the age of 74. The first time I died, I was 99. New technology transferred my consciousness to a new body. For 263 years, I sleeved into new bodies, living on in perfect health. But last night, at the age of 365, I died again. Today, I hired someone to solve my murder. I was asleep before. That's how we let it happen. When they slaughtered Congress, we didn't wake up. When they blamed terrorists and suspended the Constitution, we didn't wake up then either. Now I'm awake. You girls will serve the leaders and their barren wives. You will bear children for them. an eye in your house. I want to keep on living for her. Do not let them grind you down. You fight. They should have never given us uniforms if they didn't want us to be an army. Hunting is a complicated profession. Don't you agree? My name is Marco Inaros. I am the commander of the Free Navy. With the opening of the Alien Gates, we are at a crossroads. No longer will Belters be persecuted. With this attack, we will show our oppressors a thing they never thought possible. The future of the Belt has begun. Nothing's ever gonna change. You've got to stop focusing on the end of the world. You've got a ship of your own, a good crew, someone who loves you and you love. You're not responsible for the world. 
Why are you going back to Earth? I have personal business in Baltimore. It's Clay Ashford's ship. I never thought I'd actually find it. We have an OPA informant. This is your son. I chartered a freighter bound for Palace. I have to go find Philip. I was always waiting for you to turn up. This world is messed up. Float to the top or sink to the bottom. Everything in the middle is a churn. I have information that Minoris intends to attack civilian targets. I don't know if it's a single huge conspiracy, but someone high up in the chain of command is in on it. This is not my fight. Marco has millions of vertes. If we go toe to toe with him, we could lose. You have committed the entire belt to war with the Inners. They wanted to fight. We'll give her one. It's time to take the Rossi out for a hunt. Do your stuff, fly boy. Marco's still gonna accomplish what a century of leaders have promised. He's gonna unite a hundred separate factions into one nation. It's time to let the system know who we are. You know where you are. I'm in a dream. That's right, Dolores. You're in a dream. Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? Welcome to Westworld. No orientation. No guidebook. All our hosts are here for you. In this world, you be whoever you want. Are you real? Well, if you can't tell, does it matter? Oh, no! This behavior, we're miles beyond the glitch here. What are your drives? To meet my maker. <laughs> I'm terrified. I feel spaces opening up inside of me. Like a building with rooms I've never explored. I think there may be something wrong with this world. Something hiding underneath. Fate of the world at stake, and only 15% open fire. Now, what does that tell you? It tells me that that war would have been over a whole lot quicker had the military got its shit together. So we adapted. There's only so much wonder we can bear. That's why when you find any wonder whatsoever, you dole it out in meager portions. And only then till it's augmented and packaged and pumped through 10,000 pre-assigned filters till it's nothing more than a meaningless series of lights. And fuck you! Fuck you! That's what boys start doing, fuck you! What they're doing to you, whatever they've done to you, it's dangerous and we really have to go. Now, Cooper. you want for the next generation? Bye, Mom. Drive Bye, carefully. Dad. Have fun, you two. Dad, I'm drawing a line, okay? Any damage to this house or these children when we get back and... Listen, you have my word as a caregiver. <laughs> 
Everything's gonna be fine. There you are, boy. Listen to me. I got an errand to run in, in a whole different dimension. We gotta get, get the hell out of here and go take care of business. So let me get this straight. We're gonna do whatever Rick wants, whenever he wants. Your father is a horrible influence on our son. Adventures are supposed to be simple and fun! Oh yeah, Morty, yeah, Riz. Yeah, that, that, that's real easy to say from the sidekick position. That's the difference between you and me, Morty. Well, what, what are you guys doing with my stuff? We're moving you to a nursing home. A nursing home? What are you, nuts? I'm a genius. I build robots for fun. Because I'm the smartest, and being nice is something stupid people do to hedge their bets. We both know that if there's any truth in the universe, it's that Ricks don't care about Mortys. You know, you were right about the universe. It's a crazy and chaotic place. 